Soylent, the all-in-one meal replacement, is supposed to be the perfect drink to replace breakfast, lunch, or dinner. But is it worth it? And what's the difference between these ready-made bottles and something that you make in a powder? Well, I've been using Soylent for three months and I was one of the original backers for Soylent. In fact, this is one of those packages. Today, we're gonna go ahead and look into it, see how it's had its effects on me, and try one of these really old powders and see if I survive. Let's do this. So as you already know, Soylent is a meal replacement, but unlike its competitors, it's supposed to be a full meal replacement rather than something like a protein drink or like a diet food. It's truly supposed to be a meal replacement and it's supposed to have everything that you need from all the vitamins and minerals, proteins, fats, and fiber. Now there are some differences. The powder kind is going to have more fiber than the ready-made drink. And there's a ton of difference in taste and how long it takes you to prep these. So what's the story behind this? Well, the CEO, Rob Reinhardt, was tired of spending time cooking food, so he actually took the raw ingredients like vitamin K, uh, some protein, and just putting them together and making it a super cheap, super quick uh, meal for himself. And then he went ahead and made a company, and that's what we have today. Now, when it comes to the powder, it is really cheap compared to the prepared drink. You can see the prices on screen here to see what they're at currently. And there is a difference between ordering it one time and having a subscription. Seeing how many meals you get out of this really can show you how you can save some money. But when it comes to the actual pre-made drink, that's a different story. It's about $3 a drink, a little less. And of course you get a tiny discount if you go ahead and subscribe. And I've gone and subscribed. I actually drink this every morning for breakfast and I love it because it's quick. And with the coffeeest type, you get a little caffeine boost. There's actually three types and you can see them on screen here. Now, if you just want to have a meal replacement without caffeine, there are those options as well, which you can see here. And I haven't actually tasted them. But as far as taste goes for this original kind, it tastes a lot like, um, I'd say like pancakes to, to me without any syrup. It's not exactly enjoyable, but it's not terrible either. And for the coffeeist, it actually tastes more like a creamy coffee type of flavor, maybe like a latte. Let's go ahead and actually try these and I can give you a better description as I'm actually tasting these. They're really easy to open and you can reseal them with these twisty lids. I think they actually got new lids even that were supposed to be better, but let's give this a taste. Yeah, it's super creamy. Um, doesn't have any like chocolatey sweet taste at all, uh, but I wouldn't say it's like thick. It's, it's more like a, a cream, um, but it has that coffee taste. It's, it's a really good taste. I haven't had any time to try the other ones, but I don't want to because it's just that good. Now, when I have this in the morning, it does help a ton um, with uh, my, my stomach because I, I don't have to worry about eating too much or too little. I just know it's there. And then I have the actual caffeine. And some people say that it is a appetite suppressant. So that might be something that holds me off until lunch and then I go ahead and eat uh, whatever I need to. And I do that every day. Now let's talk about this powder. Is it great? Well, this is one of the original packages. So, um, you know, <laughs> you tell me. Uh, it's not terrible, but it does take some more time to prep. It used to come with fish oil, but I threw those out because they were rancid. So instead, I will be using olive oil and we'll put that in there. Now there's a process about how much you're supposed to put in there properly, but to be honest, after doing it, I just started mixing it to the consistency I wanted and then choosing how much to drink. So let's go ahead and open it up. Now, if you wanted to, you could go ahead and blend this and you'd get a smoother taste. But for this uh, video, I'm just gonna go ahead and put it in the pitcher. That's a lot of powder. You know, if I was smart, I would have put the water in first and then mixed it in, but I didn't do that. So let's go ahead and add some here. and just start whisking away. You'll get a lot smoother consistency if you're gonna go with a blender. But I don't know if you can tell, but it's, it's kind of thick, but not too thick. I'm gonna go ahead and add a little more water. If you add the oil first, you're gonna get clumps. It doesn't mix well. 
so I always add the water and then do the powder and then put in oil, even if I'm doing it in a blender. I don't know how much oil I need. I'm not a nutritionist. But um, you do want to put the oil in this if you're worried about like not having, like if it's too fatty or something, like it's not going to hold you over if you don't put in that fat. Well, there you go. Let's go ahead and pour this out. It smells really sweet. Um, it smells like it's going to be like cakey, kind of. I probably put more water than usual. It's uh, a little thin, but it's very sweet. A lot more sweet than this is. So, um, you know, it kind of tastes pleasant, but it has kind of like a chalky taste. And like I said, this is an old bag, so hopefully I don't die. <laughs> Um, but uh, I bet you they probably improved a little bit on this formula, but I don't know for sure. But I, I can tell you that, you know, it's, it's not terrible and it has, uh, you know, a ton of uh, nutrients for you there. So what do you think? Is this something that you would try or have tried? If so, what are the results that you've seen? Um, is it worth the cost? If you have any questions or comments, let me know in the comment section below. If you haven't subscribed, be sure to do so now and you'll get content like this and about web development in the tech world. Uh, all the time. So again, my name is Ricky. Thanks for tuning in and I'll see you next time.